be I don't fuck with bitch ass niggas Cause I know that they fake I right. seen them coming a thousand miles So stay the fuck out my way Out my way smoke. You said you want some smoke So bitch I'm a fake I came a long way from eating grilled cheese Okay 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 Let's get into the video. What we all be waiting for is my top tips on how to get past a devastating love breakup. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're in this little second place, I know, and it just seems like you're going to be here forever, and trust me. We have all been there before, and we just thought it was just so meant to be, but I'm here to get you out of that dark space. So listen up, stay tuned, and keep watching, okay? All right, so my first tip is don't listen to sad songs, okay? Are you, do I need to repeat myself? Don't listen to sad songs. Because you're trying to get in a space to where you're okay and you trying to accept the situation for what it is, even though it might not be what you want to be, you still, you know, just say, fuck it, I got to just accept it and just keep it moving. So listening to a sad song is going to keep putting you back in that same space that you're just trying to get past. So I just, that's just one of the things I just feel like that's something you don't do when you're trying to be in a better place. You're trying to move on. You're trying to move forward. You don't want nothing that just keep on reminding you of the person you're trying to get past. Now the next one, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's going to sound stupid as hell, but when you do, you're going to understand. So the second one I'm going to say is take yourself out on a date. Take yourself out. It's okay to go to the boss by yourself. Go out to eat by yourself. Go do anything by yourself. It's okay to just take yourself out on a date. Especially if you just was in a type of relationship where that person was always taking you out, always wanting you down you, just always throwing you or whatever. Like, take yourself out. Like, it's okay because you don't want to get out of that habit of something you're used to. And now it's, 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 it's gone. It's no more. No. It's just because you're not here anymore. Bitch, I'm still going to... You know, take myself. I'm still not about to miss no meal. Okay? <laughs> I ain't about to miss no meal. I don't be no fat ass. And just overeating, indulging in your your sorrow. No. Not saying be a fat ass. But take yourself out. Treat yourself. Look at your son. You know? Say you just take yourself out on a date. That's all I'm saying. Now, this one is just really based on how long you really been broke up. And how long you just been single. But... I don't say, like, if you just broke up with somebody, try to jump back into something different. But I think it's okay for you to go out on, on dates. Somebody take you out. You go out and, you know, just go enjoy somebody else's company. I ain't saying fuck the motherfucker. I ain't saying, you know, go jump in bed and just be out here wilding. But I'm saying, like, it's okay to have somebody to get that other somebody off of your mind. If you know what I'm saying. It's just like... Go enjoy yourself. You can go home and I won't text the motherfucker to the next day. You blow them off. It really don't matter. Just as long as you have somebody that get in your mind off of the person who you're in this space in with. So, let somebody else take you out too. Let somebody take you out on a day. Let somebody else, you know, treat you and let somebody else appreciate what that other person didn't appreciate. So, go out on dates. So, this next one is also... Um, based off of how long y'all been broke up. So, if you've been with somebody for like five years and y'all break up about 20 times a year, then this one is not for you. Go fast forward to the next one because this just makes no sense. Nine times out of ten, y'all ain't gonna get right back together and this one just cause more conflict. But, this one would be to just get rid of everything in your house that reminds you of that person. When I say they sock, they draws, they toothbrush, they soap, you don't want nothing, nothing in your house that's going to remind you of that person. Because like I said, like if you're trying to get in a better space, you don't want to be walking past a goddamn shoe under your bed and be like, fuck, now I'm thinking about this motherfucker again. So, get rid of, just get rid of it. Just let it go. Just, you know, and I, and I also feel like you don't have to have no 
no bad blood. Just because y'all broke up, you ain't gotta set that shit on fire. Just do the most. Hey, I'm just calling you because I found some new stuff. And I wanted to drop it off. Now, if he's a crazy motherfucker, don't do that. Don't do that. Just wait. If, you know, y'all ain't, ain't, ain't end on bad terms. Y'all still cool. Hey, I found some new stuff. I'm just gonna drop it off to you, you know. If it's some bullshit, like a side girl. Just throw that shit in the trash. But, you know, just give him a shit. You don't want to be walking past nothing that reminds you of that person. So, just give him any shit. I feel like this one is another very important one is hang out with your family and friends. It just, it don't matter. It don't matter, but just get out the house. Hang out with people. Like, you know, just get, don't, don't sit here and drown in your sorrow, in your dark ass room. Like, don't do that. Just get out, enjoy yourself. You know, go to clubs. Go. Now, you don't even have to go because I ain't really no club type person. I'm more of a daytime. Go out, just just hang out. Go, just do anything. But just get the hell out the house. Get out your room. Get out. Get from behind the four walls. Get out and go enjoy yourself. That's very important. Just don't sit and soak it in the shit. Like, you're going to get deeper in it and then... <laughs> Probably can't get out the motherfucker. So get out the house. Go enjoy yourself. Hang out with your friends. Hang out with your family. If you ain't got no, some people don't have family they close with like they. Some people didn't look at their friends like they family. So just get out. Go hang out with your coworkers. Even if you ain't got nobody to hang out with, just get out the house. Okay. So I also want you to know that it is okay to talk about it. Some people probably feel like, damn, how am I going to get over it? If I'm constantly talking about it, how I'm going to get past this person if I'm keep bringing this person up. But sometimes that is like your, 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 your coping mechanism, just like talking about that person. You know, just, you know, it's okay. Don't let nobody say, how you going to get past them if you still talking about it? You still bringing them up? No, that might be how you cope with the shit. By talking about it. And then maybe if you do talk about it, you're going to get so pissed off about the person. So, uh, you glad you're not with that person no more. Like, Come to think about it, this bitch really had me fucked up. <laughs> he, he really had me fucked up. <laughs> Just talking about it to somebody else. Then that might make you move on even more because you just can't realize how much this person really had you fucked up. <laughs> so talking about it is okay. That's all I want y'all to know. It's okay. So, all right. So this is my last one, but I feel like this one is really the most important one of them all. And that is to stay busy. When I tell you, the more you stay busy, the more your mind is not really going to, you know, you're going to have the moments where you just drift back into to thinking about it or whatever. But you won't, your mind is going to be so much focused on getting your money, working, working out, doing your thing, getting your shit together to where you're not focused too much on what happened. You're more focused on what's to come. So, I just feel like staying busy is really, like, the most important one. Just to get your mind off of, you know, a devastating breakup. Just to stay busy. Even if that person was probably the most horrible person to you. It, it's okay that you still miss them. You're going to still miss them. Because if you was with somebody for a long time, and of course you're going to miss that person. Even if they treat you like shit, you're still going to miss them. So... That's just how important it is to stay busy. Keep your mind off it. Keep doing your thing. Keep grinding. Stay on top of your shit. You know, everything you wanted to do, do it. This is the perfect time because you you more motivated now. You more motivated. You you more determined. You like, fuck, I ain't got nobody distracting me. I ain't got nobody holding me back. This is the best time to get your shit together. Because now you something. In some kind of way, you want to shit on that person and be like, you know, look, look at me. Look, you was the problem. <laughs> you was the problem. So, just stay busy. Stay on top of your shit and get your shit together. <laughs> okay, so that's my tips on how to get through a devastating breakup. So, if you feel like there's some things that I tell to meet you, just go ahead and leave them down there below in the comment section. You know, we, we all could use each other in, in times like this. So, 
If you have any helpful tips on helping somebody get through a breakup, just go ahead and leave them down below. And I will see you guys again soon on my next video. You got me riding and skating. I keep these bitches they hating. And my intention they waking. I like a fish they stay baiting. I like them a lolly dotty. We ain't gonna tell nobody. I keep a bad snow. Flick that.